Jason, and today we're going to talk about cast iron, specifically the Lodge cast iron skillet. This one that I have is a 12 inch chef collection, and I got this one from William Sonoma. It is pre seasoned. I like Lodge because they're all made in the United States and they're affordable, they're pre seasoned, so you can use it right away. And if you take care of it, it'll probably last you a lifetime. Normally what you would do is take off the tags, wash it and dry it thoroughly and then you're ready to start cooking in it. However, for me, I'm going to take it one step further because I want to get the surface as smooth as possible. So I'm going to sand it down completely to the raw iron and then re-season it with flaxseed oil. You can see that the surface is very coarse, but if I rub a paper towel on it, you can actually hear it. The handle is very coarse as well on the edges where they uh, casted it together. So I'm going to try to smoothen that out as well. And after I'm done, this is what it looks like. It's a lot smoother now. There's no sharp edges, especially on the handle. I'm really happy with how it came out. So let me show you how I did it. What's up guys? Welcome to my backyard. This is where I'll be sanding down the cast iron. I secretly hope that my neighbors don't come out here and ask me questions. But anyway, these are the tools that I use to sand down the cast iron. First thing is a drill. With the drill, I'll be using the Avanti Quick Strip Disc. I got this from Home Depot. I also have sandpaper in 80 grit, 120 grit, and 220 grit. These work perfectly with the plug-in sander that I have. I also have sandpaper in circular sheets that I'll be using for the edge of the cast iron later. I have some gloves to protect my beautiful hands. I have a face mask to make sure I don't breathe in any of the dust. And I have shop towels to wipe out the dust from the pan as I go. Before I started sanding down the cast iron, I wanted to make sure I had something to hold it down so it wouldn't move. So what I did was I made a makeshift contraption, which is basically a old vise that I found from my parents' garage. And I drilled it into a scrap piece of wood. The nails that I used stuck out of the wood, so to make sure that didn't scratch a table, I put it on two wooden boards that I had in my garage. And then on top of that, I had to put four more of these wooden boards on top of the vise so that it would elevate the cast iron skillet to fit perfectly into the vise. So now that I'm all set up, I first used the Avanti Quick Strip Disc to basically strip off all the pre-seasoning. This thing works pretty fast, so I went in circles to avoid staying in one spot too long. That could potentially create a divot, and I want to make sure that the surface is stripped, but I'm not making any divots into the surface. The quick strip disc tends to work better when I use it at an angle instead of being completely flat with the skillet. The center was pretty easy to strip, but as I got to the sides, it got more difficult to match the curve of the skillet. So it took me a little bit longer to get the edges. To remove all the pre-seasoning from the edges and the rim of the cast iron and then once everything is smooth I move on to sanding. So I start off with the 80 grit sandpaper and I use the sander to sand the center of the cast iron but for the edges I'll be using the circular sanding sheets. Once I feel pretty good about the surface and the edges of the cast iron, I move on to the 120 grit and the 220 grit and do the same exact thing.
Next, I work on the handle with the Avanti quick strip and sand it down as well as the bottom of the cast iron. After finishing sanding and wiping out all the dust, this is what the cast iron looks like. It's very smooth on the surface. It, the surface actually looks very silver, almost like a stainless steel. And you can still see a lot of pits in it, but that's just the nature of how cast iron is. To season the cast iron skillet, I use my three-step seasoning method. I use the same method on my carbon steel wok, and I posted a video of that recently. I'll leave the link in the description below and you can see the detailed step-by-step -step process there. In a nutshell, I first wash a cast iron and dry it thoroughly. Then I blew the cast iron and then I apply heat and oil. One thing to keep in mind is that compared to the carbon steel wok, the cast iron is a lot thicker. So it took a lot longer to actually blue the metal. You could just skip this step if you want when seasoning your cast iron, but I wanted to see if it would actually work on the stove. It took me about an hour to blue all the surface of the cast iron, and I was getting pretty crazy using three burners to try to blue it a lot faster. I won't show the last step to apply oil and heat to season the cast iron, but it's essentially the same as the video for the wok. Again, I'll have the details in the video linked below. And that's how I did it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button, please subscribe. And until next time.